If you're fond of crypto, then you're quite lucky, because an island is just made for you. No, we're not joking. There is a private 32 million square foot island with access to large bodies of open water, year-round sunlight, modular homes, and a promise of a decentralized democracy called Satoshi Island that is made just for you. This Satoshi Island is not about a fictional story, but rather a private island meant for the crypto community. For today's video exclusive to our crypto flippers, we are going to learn more about the said paradise that is for members of the crypto community. And without further ado, let's get into the video. The island is located in the tourist location of Vanuatu and is owned by Satoshi Island Holdings LTD, an investment group that wants to turn it into a place where individuals who want to make their living in cryptocurrency can come together. It's not surprising that the name of this island is inspired by Satoshi Nakamoto, the pseudonymous person who is purported to be the original developer of Bitcoin. And the island's goal is to be the crypto capital of the world. No need to worry because the company managing the project claims the island build has been given the green light by the Vanuatu Prime Minister and the nation's Minister of Finance. And the development of Satoshi Island is being handled by noted architects James Law Cybertecture, who is using modular living structures that are sustainable and smart. All these structures can be positioned any way, combined or not. Also, the units are made in an Ofna location and can be shipped to Vanuatu. Then when they arrive and are placed into position, the island residents can finally move in. Satoshi Island Holdings chose the nation of Vanuatu because the government supports innovation and has crypto-friendly laws. So far, there has been a lot of interest in crypto-focused island as it will be built with sustainability in mind. Things like power systems on the island can utilize renewable energy methods to ensure that it is sustainable for the future. The idea for Satoshi Island came about during the 2017 bull run. The island itself has been in the works for years with the goal of creating a place for crypto enthusiasts to call home. During the search process, it was important that the island not be too remote or difficult to develop. However, they also needed to make sure the island would be safe from natural disasters and climate change. The decision was not easy because there were many factors requiring consideration. In order to have a successful crypto city, the government needs to be open to the idea and willing to innovate. The team thought that after years of searching for a winner, Vanuatu would finally be their success. Pacific Island nations are providing to be crypto-friendly, with nearby Tonga already discussing Bitcoin as legal tender, while just across the same body of water, Marshall Island has opened the gates to DAOs. However, Vanuatu lacks jobs and tourism, while in terms of animals. The island, which used to be called the Taro, was overfished and overpoached. The population of coconut crabs was driven close to extinction prior to the land purchase. The government is giving the go-ahead to the construction of a new technology-driven community on an island. This idea came out of the outcome of COP21, where solar panels were seen as sustainable and high-tech. The architect for this project mentions how connecting with green spaces can really impact mental health and well-being. With that being said, the island will be entirely powered by renewable energy. The team's focus is in cryptocurrency mining, but they plan to use solar panels on top of homes to power the entire community and share a grid. However, when pressed on whether Bitcoin mining enthusiasts could pack an S19 into their suitcase to be able to mine sustainably, the team said that's still no problem at all. If you're still curious about it, there is a website all about Satoshi Island. The website is describing their island town, which will be a new town full of condos. Cryptocurrency payments are the only way to make purchases here, and any assets you own will be property-based. This island will have around 21,000 
5,000 permanent residents and it is not a resort. Rumors state that it may open to the public later this year. They are also interested in startups and established companies setting up shop on the island. Companies of all sizes are welcome and we have dedicated co-working space to suit startups. All the way up to entire campuses where large projects can build satellite offices, company retreats, or even permanent headquarters, the website details. In a promotional video, a robotic female narrator explains how Satoshi Island will be the first real-world crypto economy running exclusively on cryptocurrency and blockchain technologies. By acquiring a block of land in the NFT collection, you can have your own part of a private island to build on. But before we continue, what is NFT? NFTs or non-fungible tokens are becoming increasingly popular and thus anyone who wants to live on Satoshi Island will need to join the trend. With the introduction of Bitcoin, we have seen an influx of new cryptocurrencies. There is now a growing interest in non-fungible tokens or NFTs, which are now emerging as the next big trend. Cryptocurrencies are specially designed computer codes that have markings like logos. Take art for example. Instead of selling the original painting, an NFT would allow you to sell a tokenized version. That means it cannot be replicated. Going back, the island will be made up of seven neighborhoods, each with different businesses. It is conveniently located near the Bitcoin logo. Should a landowner wish to add on or build larger buildings, they may buy more than one parcel and combine them in that location. These blocks are large enough to create homes, commercial spaces, and complexes. The place for entrepreneurial types to go the private island is located in Vanuatu, an approximately 300,000 person nation. It can be accessed by direct flight from Australia, Asia, and the west coast of the US and Canada. The narrator in the promotional video is inviting others to come visit and enjoy the benefits of this new society. They want to be the first of their kind and therefore live in a society built around blockchains and decentralized financial systems. The first stage has been completed and visitors can already check in at a traditional style villa before exploring the rest of the island, which is currently undeveloped. Soon, the rest of the island will be filled with smart homes and offices that were designed by Cybertecture. In the video, James Law, Cybertecture's custom architect, says that they have designed something special for the island and they call it the Satoshi Island module. The company has built, delivered, and installed similar structures in the past. When Law heard that Satoshi Island was going to cast an entire smart city based on these principles, it was a dream come true. The different modules can be sorted out to create hundreds of designs for homes, apartments, amenities, and offices. As their chief architect states, you can think of them like Legos. And in the second quarter of 2022, these homes will go on sale at a price of $60,000. This project provides an opportunity for investors to buy virtual objects which have the potential of receiving land titles corresponding to their acquisitions. These investors choose whether or not they want to invest in this island property. And buying land is not the only possibility offered by Satoshi Island Land. Even the owners can also buy the Satoshi Island module. These modules can be used as business premises or residences, and each owner will be able to determine how their module is used. Holders of NFT Satoshi Island land may also participate in sale transactions, which will be subject to the possession of physical documentation. In this case, participants must have the physical documentation registered at the official land register of Vanuatu. The modules will be delivered the following quarter and short-term visitors will have access to the borders. Citizens with NFTs will gain access to the site in the third quarter of 2022. Satoshi Island is the official home for cryptocurrency professionals and enthusiasts worldwide. This island will be built with an entire decentralized financial system and a blockchain-based democracy. It will officially open its doors on January 1 of 2023. 
And if you're wondering, the team of Satoshi Island has avoided the pitfalls of failed projects. They have planned every step with care, despite this being their first project. The team has already mapped out a strategy for the future of the island and Europe. So what does having a piece of land on this said island? Each person who holds a citizenship NFT will receive one vote along with the right to live and work on the island. However, it does not give the buyer actual citizenship for Vanuatu and does not give them any power over the governance of that nation. Also, only 21,000 Satoshi will ever own their island citizenship. The first round of citizenship will be granted via airdrop to people who support the project early on. Additional rounds of citizenship will be released at a later date. They point out that receiving a Satoshi Island Citizenship NFT could be seen as an honor or an opportunity. Being a member of the Satoshi Island community is a privilege, which comes with exclusive benefits and rights. If you plan to be an active member in the future, your citizenship will make the island feel more like home. Though it is possible to sell your citizenship on the NFT marketplace, if you don't find the ownership benefits enticing, you can sell it to someone who would find them valuable. As mentioned before, the government of Vanuatu has said that citizenship in the country doesn't guarantee people entry. They also point out that regardless of holding a citizenship NFT, you will be considered for entry. So as long as you have a visa or passport from one of the 130 visa-free countries. The island will be used year-round for important events related to crypto projects and for crypto enthusiasts to gather. The team hinted that the island could be used as a decentralized autonomous organization at a later time. And there are lots of people who want to live on this island. The founders have already received 50,000 applications for the NFT. It'll be given to whitelist people who'd like to enter their land NFT. To be accepted into the whitelist, one has to purchase the citizenship token first. Another thing about this island is that every home will be an NFT or a Satoshi Island land NFT, which means that it can be traded. This means that you can purchase rights over any digital space and can trade them to boost your crypto portfolio. And a piece of good news for our crypto clippers out there, the island will be giving out 5,620 free citizen tokens to applicants who have a valid Ethereum wallet address and have bought, sold, or minted an NFT on OpenSea in the last year. Verified crypto influencers with more than 21,000 Twitter followers will automatically get a citizenship token if they apply. But if you want to become a citizen, the Republic of Vanuatu can allow you to obtain citizenship through the investment route by spending at least $130,000. Vanuatu has a well-respected citizenship by the investment program for people looking for a second passport. Again, a Satoshi Island citizenship is not the same as a Vanuatu citizenship. Also, Satoshi Island provides migration services to Vanuatu residents who have brought NFTs. By doing this, they offer their clients the opportunity to experience fast processing through the government. Though there are many benefits associated with using volatile financial assets such as cryptocurrencies and NFTs, it involves an inherent risk that may never materialize. The Prime Minister of Vanuatu has approved of its use. Did you know that this isn't the first physical crypto land? In January, there was a failed attempt to buy a resort in Fiji by Crypto Land to create a resort exclusively for cryptocurrency enthusiasts. Crypto Land was established in November of 2021 and announced to the world through a creepy video. This NFT created an island paradise like that of Fire Island. The founders of the proposed physical crypto island are facing major financial difficulties. However, they plan on sticking with the project and developing an interactive virtual experience of what this virtual currency ecosystem would look like. 
The owner of Nananu Ikik, Rick Hermod, revealed to Guardian Australia that their contract to sell the island to Cryptoland's backers failed this week and that he is back on the market. He said that their contract has come to an end and it is available again. In addition, there is always some risk of losing money on transactions when a cryptocurrency is involved. However, while it's not yet known whether Vanuatu will grant all citizens the same legal rights as everyone else, it should be noted that even if they did not, Satoshi Island plans to release a new currency for the island that can never leave the island and thus limit the scope of this issue. Authorities in charge of Satoshi Island land have a grandiose idea and it is obviously something that took them a lot of time to put into action. The experience for those participating in the project will be one of a kind and original as said by the director of James Law Cybertecture and chief architect of Satoshi Island. He also said that it will be a unique experience for many people to visit. Silicon Valley, Los Angeles, and cryptocurrency followers will all have something in common. Increasingly, more countries are accepting Bitcoin for all transactions. In turn, encouraging more people to create an interest in it. Countries such as El Salvador and the United Kingdom have made Bitcoin legal, which has caused a surge of solidarity for cryptocurrency. The Satoshi Island Land NFTs will allow people who use cryptocurrency to acquire private land and houses. They will be able to do whatever they want on the private island, which is intended for those who use crypto. And there you have our crypto clip video for today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell, and like this video. If you think that we have delivered value, please share this video with one person. Just one person is enough for you to show your appreciation for the commitment and hard work we all put together in creating this video that teaches and helps you on your mission of building your own fortune. And you don't know the one share could go a long way. And keep in mind that no matter how many times you're going to watch this video, you won't see any results unless you take action. Goodbye and see you at the next one.